Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to draw a Remembrance Day artwork. Now I'm starting off with the middle of a poppy and I'm stylizing the leaves here using four petals for the middle poppy and then I'm flicking out some lines for some details. The next part is to draw a poppy that is in behind the other one. So you can see there that I've created the, the middle and the two petals and there's another petal that goes in behind there that you won't see. Again, flick out the details on the middle of the poppy. Now for the third poppy, I am drawing on the petals. Again, we're going to go four. Try and keep these poppies the same size and flick out those little bits. It's better to flick them than to draw the lines because they go from thick to thin then. Now the next part that I'm going to do is the cross coming up. So what, what it, the cross symbolizes the fallen soldiers and you can see that I've tried to keep my cross the same width and I'm not using a ruler because I want to add a bit of character to my drawing. And make sure you come out horizontally the same on each side of that cross. Now we write the word lest we forget. And this is to remind us to remember the fallen soldiers from all wars. And you can write that in your nicest linked writing. And you can see here, I've just put the middle of two poppies. Now these poppies are gonna be smaller because they're further back and they're gonna be behind the cross. And they're also gonna be behind the other poppies. And you can see here that you can only see three petals on each of those poppies. And then to make this look like it's a wreath of poppies going around the cross, we're going to put another poppy just tucked in behind there. Each one of those, one on each side. So start with the little black part in the middle and then you can bring your poppy petals out from that. Now you might like to color that in and add some extra details, it's up to you. I'm just thickening up a couple of lines here to make it look nicer. You could even add a soldier's helmet on top of your cross. You could add some other details, but this is just to show you how to draw a basic artwork for Remembrance Day. Now, I hope you've enjoyed following along the video. Remember, you can pause at any stage. And thanks for joining me and lest we forget.